welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know. Now you know and we're gonna try a little week in my life this week. It is currently Monday. I had some appointments this morning and now we're kind of redoing the room a little bit. It is officially the end of an era. The neon sign is coming down. I am working with mixed tiles on Instagram. Okay, can I even get this down? Ow. Ugh. I'm not getting rid of it, even though I do think either something in the wiring is wrong or the remote is dead because I haven't gotten it to work in a little bit, but it's coming down from the bedroom. I just like want to redo this room. Even if we're not going to be here for long, I just don't love it. It's giving dorm room. It's giving chuggy. It needs matured and redone. And obviously like I lived here before alone, before Justin moved in and there's really not much of this apartment that we've changed since he's moved in and there's not much of like us in the apartment so i got some really cute pictures of us printed out that we're gonna attempt to hang by myself today they're supposed to be like really really easy and apartment friendly that's like the whole thing about mixed tiles this is not sponsored by them but i'm putting myself to the test to see if i can do it i'm not worried about being able to do it i'm worried about making them straight that's what i think i'm most stressed about but today's the day we're gonna get it done there's gonna be some really cute pictures and i really tried to match them to specifically like the bed frame and the aesthetic of the bedroom. I'm excited and Justin's at work so he'll just get to come home and be surprised by the pictures. Okay, I'm gonna try to multitask and film my like sponsored TikTok Instagram that I need to do while also showing you guys the process. But I don't know what package I need to open for the sponsorship because I got quite a lot of pictures. Honestly, I ended up spending a little bit extra over budget and like spending my own money on some more pictures because especially for the house, I want to do just like a lot of pictures, specifically like a lot of our travel pictures, probably like a whole wall of those eventually. So I figured let's start now. And I also just like have these pictures in the room that I don't love. I don't know if I'm gonna add more into it because I don't want to like overflow it with just like pictures of us everywhere. I don't wanna look like we just threw up all over the room. I want it to be tasteful. So I don't know if I'll use the rest of these now. I could also put more in like Justin's room, our guest room. But one of these are the ones I specifically got for this bedroom. And I don't know if it's that package or this package. So I guess we just gotta unbox and try to find out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these aren't the ones that are going in here, but I think these are beautiful. I don't know where I'm gonna put these, but I got a set of three that are all from the same like photo shoot, but I love these pictures and I love the like light wood frame. So I have this one, this one would go in the middle, which I love cause it's just like kind of artsy and it's like we're cut off, but it's just cute. Oh, I love these. Okay. Of course I unboxed the wrong one first though, but I am really happy with the way these look. They're so precious. And then this one. So these are the size of the ones going up here. But I got a different set in, oh, they're gonna look really good. I got a different set with black frames to specifically go in this room. So I guess these ones can just go back in the box. We'll figure out if we want to use those in the meantime, or if I just wanna store them and wait for the house. I don't know yet. But I just am obsessed with these pictures, and I think those as like a set of three are so cute. Okay, here's picture number one. This is Justin's favorite picture of us. It's currently his phone wallpaper, but it is so cute. Here's picture number two. It's us kissing in the rain with like an I heart New York umbrella when we were in New York City. And I just feel like it really went with like the vibe and aesthetic of the room. It does. It looks so cute. I cannot wait for him to come home to these. And picture number three. All three of these are from New York, but I think because of more of like the dark aesthetic is what I was going for for the room. So now they look really, really easy to just hang up on the wall. Let's see if we can do it myself. I wish I had some sort of measuring tape. I have a foot ruler. I don't think that's gonna help. Um, I guess maybe let's go by like, how many of these notches? Sixteen, so eight on each side, and that is how we're gonna find our center, and then, well, <sighs> luckily I'm a perfectionist, so I'm gonna sit here until they're perfect, so if it's not first try, by the time we're done here, they'll be straight. I 
I actually ended up switching these two back around and I think I like it because the balance of the blue I think is just better. I am obsessed with these. Like I knew they were gonna look good and I knew it was gonna look better than what I had there before. But I don't think I anticipated how much I was actually going to love this setup. I hate these. This is next. Nightstand and lamps need to go bye bye I hate those. But I love the aesthetic of the pictures matching the bed frame. I think they look so good. That's why I went with like the black frames mainly and then try to do more like dark and moody, woody, earthy tone pictures instead of like all of our beach ones. And I think it matches so well with the bed frame, which I love because this bed frame is going to come with us to the house. This will probably be like the guest room aesthetic. So the guests will just have to look at pictures of us being cute and in love. So whatever, they'll have to deal with it. But voila, that was truly so easy to do. I'm so glad I didn't make Justin do that with me because that would have honestly just been a waste of time. That did not take long at all to do myself. But like I said, I got some other ones. I got a few, I don't remember how many little ones. One or two in here, I believe, of just smaller sizes. Well, the other three are the exact same size as those ones. They're just the ones I showed you earlier. But I got, okay, I got two. So I got this one of the whole fam, our little Christmas pictures. I might put one of these in the living room. I think, do you think it'd be overkill? Yeah. And because the frames are different colors than that, I don't think it'll work well in this bedroom. Oh, I forgot about this one. It's one of my favorite pictures ever of us because we are truly just like, ugh, living our best lives in Hawaii, especially specifically at the Botanical Garden. This was literally so magical and dreamy and it was like, it started drizzling while we were like taking pictures, we were kissing in the rain. It was literally one of the most magical days ever. So I also got that one. So this size I think is the size that I'll get eventually for the house, like a whole bunch of different pictures in this size and make like a whole gallery wall. But I think I might put one of these, I'll show you. I'm thinking here, like where my YouTube black was, like it was cute while it lasted. I don't know where else I will put it, but I just like feel like it doesn't necessarily need to be on display anymore. I think it's cute. I'm not crazy about it, but we'll keep it and feel it out. I think just because this is all black next to it, it's throwing me off, but I don't know what else I could put there. If I switch it, would that make a difference? Okay, I think I like that change better. I just feel like it's balanced a little bit more now, but cute, cute little family picture. I generally don't know if I can hang this one up or where it should go. Also, Justin got me some sunflowers, but he got me those because I don't want to like go into this forever, but I obviously vlog my life. So I have been somewhat mentally going through it. I lost a grandparent recently, which is obviously tough and just especially tough because I don't live near my family really. So he got me those sunflowers, which he was been the sweetest through this, but I just feel like I've mentally been going through it a little bit and I want to use today to attempt to get out of obviously it's like not necessarily fair to call it a rut but i do feel like even just before this i've not mentally been myself so i think we might take a bath tonight do like a face mask do some self-care really just try to chill and give myself some grace because for some reason i'm almost like getting upset with myself that i don't feel like myself lately when it's like rightfully so i'm obviously dealing with stuff and i'm about to start my period so i feel like this was just extra bad timing and it's been tough so the rest of today i think I, I do feel better already like getting up getting that brand deal film that's been something that i've been kind of like not procrastinating on the last few days but i didn't think it was going to be easy to do it myself so i thought i was going to have to wait for justin to be home but i feel really good that i was able to get that done able to get that filmed we'll probably get a few more work things done today and then i really want to just spend today trying to relax i feel anxious i feel stressed obviously upset and sad but we are hopefully going to be feeling ourselves a little bit more soon i don't know why i've been kind of in a funk but i was walking around the apartment trying to figure out where else we could put that other picture and i remembered that i want to take this down we have like guests over we'll have like justin's friends staying over in the guest room and i am just staring at them when they wake up in the morning so i think we'll take that down and then we'll at least put the picture of us here much better with this picture here. Getting my work done ended up taking way longer than I expected. So if I tried to do a self-care night and take a bath, I would just be really rushed and I wouldn't get to enjoy it. So I also realized I didn't have bubble bath stuff. So I ordered some of that. We'll probably do a self-care night later on this week, but Justin should be home from the gym soon. So I'm just gonna do the dishes and cook real quick. 
And then I think tomorrow, I technically have a brand event. It's like a good brand, but it's not like a crazy event. It's more just like a pop in, pop out kind of thing. But it's also the only day Justin leaves to go to Daytona College Nationals because he's been working with a college team in a few days. So it'll be the only day that we can really just hang out together. And I think he said that he wanted to like plan a little fun day with us and just like go to Top Golf or do something fun and get out of the house. And I think I would enjoy that. And like, I think I need that a little bit more. So we might do that tomorrow, which would be a lot of fun. So I'll probably just pick up the camera for whatever we end up doing tomorrow. Almost forgot, I was vlogging. Good morning, happy Tuesday. We are going to Top Golf for an hour or so. And I cannot wait. And by we, she means us. Yeah. What's up, everybody? I cannot wait to have the mac and cheese balls. We haven't been there in a really long time. I feel like at the beginning of our relationship, we went like. Quite often. Yeah. And now I feel like we haven't gone forever. I feel like we've just been so caught up in like what we've been doing. It's yeah. just been tough to find the time, but. I know, I want to get back to alphabet dating. I'm doing that. I think we got to like B last we time. We did. So yeah. We went axe throwing and then <laughs> I don't even remember what B was. Bowling. We did not. No, we didn't even go bowling yet. That's what we were supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, yeah, but we're going to go to Top Golf and have ourselves a little fun day outside of the house, which is needed. We made it. They tried to put us way on that side and then we both looked at each other and we're like, we're both really bad and everything that we do goes right. So we asked if they had anything on the left. So now we're all the way over here. So now when it goes right, it'll go straight. So we'll be good. You get that? That was a great shot. Right to blue. Four bow. Hit. There you go. Right where I said that. Oh, it's dead. I'm convinced it's the window because it literally does this. You think so? This is uh, pretty pathetic. <laughs> My fourth ball of the entire game was the only one that made it in. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's okay, man, on top, baby. A fun little hour. We started to get the hang of it at the end. He went, we only had like maybe 10 minutes left, so he went and did like his whole round. And then there was like five minutes left. I was like, all right, I guess I'll use the rest of the five. And I almost, that was that was my best scoring game. And I was just like rapid fire going. But it's like when you put less thought into it and less like power into your swing, yeah. you just get such a better outcome. But we decided to not end up eating lunch there. We're just gonna go get lunch somewhere else. We're gonna go to Pincho Factory, which we never really go to. I've only had it once. And I had it right after my wisdom teeth. So I like enjoyed it without like fully enjoying it. So I feel like that was oh, what I, yeah. It was when I was just starting to like eat real food again. So I'm excited for that. It is but, a really good place that we never really go to for sure. So good call. Fun day. My hand is on fire though. Look how red it is. I need a glove next time. Now we want to look into though some batting cages because like that's more my speed although i did want to be a professional golfer at one point in time it was very short-lived i did play softball for many years she took private lessons guys i'll let her fool you i took she like maybe two took <laughs> i did i did still take him i went to golf camp i played a few rounds on my own like i did play at one point and my swing is decent i just make terrible contact with the ball and then it goes way to the right I just try to swing it like a bat and just, you know, at the ground and hope for the best, if I'm being honest. Sometimes I've it clicks and works. Yeah, no, yeah, you have. Yeah, I've a lot better. I think this is what I got last time. Good. Mine's really good. Sauce, good too. I am so glad we got out of the house and had a fun morning today. It is needed. I feel so much better, although I did come home and take a nap immediately because I don't know what is going on. My energy levels are so low. I don't know, oh, I need to get try to get back on a routine of like waking up and just getting out of bed and going to the gym. I feel like that helped. I feel like I was still tired, but I feel like it helped a little bit more. But it's Tuesday, so that means I gotta go spend the rest of the night in the gym. It's 4.30, I'm about to leave, and I won't get home till probably 10.30 at the earliest. So nothing left to vlog today. It's so weird doing week in my life and just like only picking up the camera certain times throughout the day, all week, but 
I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Good morning. We are struggling today. I woke up and my cramps hit me like a truck. They hurt so bad right now. So today should be fun. You know what shouldn't be fun? Okay, first of all, I did not realize how full body workout Top Golf was. My entire midsection, core and back, which also could play into like my cramps too, but I, I feel like my muscles are sore on top of the cramps. But I am so sore and I have a like a brand event workout class tomorrow, which I'm already scared of because it's Barry's boot camp and I've never done that before. I might do some research on videos today of like what that entails because I have no idea what that workout's gonna be like and I'm already nervous for that one. And two, now I'm sore going into that workout. So that's something to worry about at a later date though because that has nothing to do with today. That is all tomorrow. We're officially home alone the rest of the week. Justin is at Daytona Nationals, which is crazy how the script's flipped right now and he's at a competition and I'm home because normally it's me being gone but I wanted to get some sun today but it looks like it's kind of crappy out like it's just pretty cloudy and doesn't look that nice so maybe we'll hold off on laying out until ooh, Friday looks gorgeous and I don't think I have anything to do Friday during the day so maybe we'll push that off until then and we might go to Target today. I need to get little things like I need to get Cloud more dog food. I need to get, I guess I should make a list because I already forgot what's on that list. But when Justin gets back, our three year anniversary is Sunday, which is so crazy. I cannot believe we're already at three years, but also it feels like 30 years at this point, but also yesterday at the same time. You know when like time is crazy like that? It's like I literally feel like we've been together my entire life, but I also feel like it was just yesterday that we got together, but I have his gift coming in. I think it comes in tomorrow, but I don't know how I want to display it. I don't know if I want to do an extravagant, like I just did the big thing for Valentine's Day. So I feel like I don't need to go like all, all out, but I can't just like be like, here's your gift. So we'll figure it out. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. So maybe we'll do that at Target and figure out how I can, I at least need to give him a card. So I don't think I need to do a whole basket. The issue, well, I guess I can just tell you because this will obviously be coming out after. Yeah. Um, so for our one year anniversary, he got us both these rope chains and he has been on the hunt for a pendant since then. So it's been two years later and he hasn't found a pendant. And there's been two recently that he showed me that he's been like, okay, I think this is gonna be the one I'm gonna get. But he went between the two and then I went to the website and they were actually having a sale. So I got both of them. So those are coming in tomorrow. So they're just gonna probably come in like a little box. So I don't know how else to do something extravagant for three years. So we'll have to figure that out at Target. Although Target for Valentine's Day was a letdown. So I don't know what they'll have for anniversary. But we'll sit and brainstorm for a minute. Our ice maker in our freezer was broken. So I had to put this in the freezer and with no ice. So it's iced coffee minus the ice, but still cold. It's just cold coffee, I guess. Still delicious, does not disappoint. Okay, we did some brainstorming. I think we figured it out. So I don't know what the gifts are gonna be yet, but he is obsessed with basically anything and everything Goodfellow from Target, which is like the men's clothing brand that they have there. And they have some really good clothes. If you have a boyfriend that like, isn't great at styling, but also like doesn't want to spend a lot of money on clothes because they're like not into fashion like that. That is the perfect place to start. Goodfellow at Target has some of the best clothes. He's been going, every time we go, like he, all, that's the first place he goes to like the men's clothing section. And they have been a 10 out of 10 lately. So I haven't been to our Target in a while. We went to one in Delray, we went to one in Fort Myers, like, but we haven't been around this area. So I'm gonna go in there and hope we can find some good finds and I'll grab anything that I, I feel like I know what he would like and what he wouldn't like. So we'll see what they have. We'll grab stuff and hopefully we can get some extra little gifts like that. I don't know what else from Target he would need or want. 
but hopefully I'm like banking on Goodfellow having some stuff because then I'm also gonna look for these at Target, but I think I want to just like aesthetically wrap them. And okay, so this is gonna be the color scheme. Hello, can you focus? There's this balloon set that is one super cheap, but the cutest like cream and brown color aesthetic of a three and some hearts. Definitely for a three year old birthday party, but like it kind of makes more sense for an anniversary anyway because of the hearts. And then this like cream, very aesthetic wrapping paper and brown velvet thin and thick ribbon. So I think if they're all, especially because he's out of town right now, he comes home Saturday and our anniversary Sunday, but like Saturday will be the only day that I can really set things up for him to like come home to. So it'll probably be a day early, but it all counts, who cares? Our anniversary, to be honest, is technically made up <laughs> because we went from like, just like having a conversation, having our first kiss, and then we just basically hung out nonstop and never like, he just like started calling me his girlfriend. There was never like a, oh, will you be my girlfriend? Because like we had so many conversations about it. There was never just a moment of like, oh, let me ask and set the date. It was like, we went from kissing to hanging out to just, okay, yeah, we're, we're together forever kind of thing. So we just kind of picked a date, honestly, and I'm wearing my anniversary hoodie in spirit of it all but we wanted to pick a date that was far enough away from my birthday's april 27th his birthday's may 11th but like this time frame was the time frame that like we definitely were dating we just wanted to set the certain date so we picked the 14th because it's like a little bit far away enough from our birthday and 414 just sounds cool so <laughs> that's our anniversary so it's okay that i set it up on saturday because we made up the date anyway so I'm gonna do that so that way he can come home to it. The only thing is, if the balloons aren't helium, how, I don't want them just like laying on the table, but I don't have a helium tank and I don't wanna, can you even like bring your balloons into somewhere? Like if I go to Party City with my own balloons, can I be like, hey, can you fill these up? I don't think it works like that. I don't know, does it? Maybe we'll do some research, but that's the plan. So we really need to find gifts to wrap because currently I have two that are probably going to be in a box like this big. This stuff is cute. I want this in this color, but they don't have it in my size. But it's really cute. I also mm, could maybe use another one of these black tanks. Well, I don't have this cut, but like a black tank like this. I don't know. I'm going to look through with this whole section. Well, this looks not promising at all so i guess we'll look around and see if there's anything but by the looks of it the answer is no these are the shirts he got the other day he got this color this color and white and he loves them and the other targets we were at had so many other colors but here he already has all those i mean he doesn't have the black one but i don't think he needs another black he also just got these shorts which he loved too so Maybe my issue is he just already bought out stock of Goodfellow everywhere. <laughs> Dang, Target is just a letdown today. Even their book section. Nothing that I was looking for. I've already read Verdi and all of those. I wanted to find either the second book in the Housemaid series, which is the Housemaid Secret, or I forget what the other title's called. Lexi told me to read a good one. Um, well, it would help if I could remember the name. I spoke too soon and it's on sale. Okay, we at least have a book for Friday. The Housemaid's Secret, we got it. Somehow, you know, I accidentally stumbled across the dog toys. And I was like, you know what? I haven't gotten caught anyone in a while, let's get one. I feel like I have to get the chicken. There's no way, I can't not get the chicken, right? This is huge though, this will be better. I think he can play, oh, 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 okay. We'll pick that up, but I think this is what he can play with better. I cannot believe how much of a bust that just was. There was nothing, nothing there. Um, I got the book, obviously. I heard it's like, okay. Like the first one was good, wasn't my favorite, but I genuinely just like wanted something to get back into reading because I just haven't read in so long. And at least I know that like I read the first one, so I might as well finish. There's only two in the series. Might as well finish that, so we got that. I got whoever is currently hired for making any type of cards in general lately. I feel like needs fired because they're just like not good anymore. I don't know. Well, this was the best 
anniversary card I could get. It's like fine. I don't know. They're like not that. It literally says, I love sharing life with you, to be with you and share with you. Like why, why would you use the word share twice on the front of the card? But it ends cute because there's nothing that I'd rather do than journey through life with you. So at least that part is cute. But I'm like, you could have done better. Oh, there's something on my envelope. What is that? I don't know if I have a plain white one. Today's not my day, guys, let me tell you. After I went, well, I got a $5 tank top. I don't have a tank top with this neckline, and I feel like this is what everyone wears under the, like, free people dupe onesie, or I just got, like, the workout dress, or just even just a plain white tank top I don't really have. So, got that. $5. Can't beat it. Oh, I forgot I got him a chicken. Look what I got. Then on my way home, I had to get gas because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to leave early tomorrow to go to this workout class, which I'm debating on. No, I need to go. I need to force myself to go. I know I'll feel better going, but I did look up what a Barry's boot camp is, and it's a lot of running. And I have a broken nose, and I can't breathe when I do like high intensity stuff like that. So I think this sounds like my worst nightmare. So we'll see. But I, I want to go. I just don't know how much I'll enjoy it, but that's for tomorrow. Anyway, because I have to get up and go kind of early, I was like, well, let me get gas today because I'm definitely going to need some in the morning. Went to go pull into the normal gas station I go to. It is coned off. They're doing something. So I'm like, okay, there's another one right before my house. Went to go to that one. I went to two different pumps, and both of them said, like, see cashier. And at that point, I'm like, no, I will do anything to avoid going into the gas station. We'll go get gas at a different gas station tomorrow morning. So... That's how today's going. I don't know what is happening. I don't know why things are not working out in my favor. But anyway, the thought process I had for his gifts were instead of putting them here, because I don't think the balloons will, they're not gonna be helium, so they won't really like sit in the air. I think maybe we'll take over this table. I'll just move this to like the corner or somewhere. I'll lay the balloons flat, and that way I can just do like card in the little boxes if that's all we get to just cover the table and it'll be like a cute little spread. It is now 1.44. I cannot believe this was that much of a waste of time. Like I really thought that I was gonna find so much there. But I'm gonna put all this away and then I think we'll cook some lunch. I have to do an Amazon Live at 4 p.m. today. So we have about two hours <coughs> until then. So We got a package. What's here? La Roche Posay. It says it right there. Not L'Oreal. I really need to, you know what? This is, yep. This is my sign. I'm going to start skincare today. We have a retinol serum for lines and wrinkles and premature sun damage. Could definitely use that. What else do we have in here? A sunscreen SPF 60 body and face. They literally looked at my Instagram and they're like, uh, you're in the sun too much. We need to do something about that. Vitamin C serum for wrinkles, lack of radiance, uneven skin texture. I think we're going to make this meal for lunch today. It looks so good. We'll probably eat half it now, half it for dinner. But it says it's only a 15-minute meal, so we'll put that to the test because somehow I feel like it always takes me longer than what it says. But we got our ravioli. We got our shrimp and everything else here. It is 1.52 right now. Let's see what time it's done. Okay, 2.18, not too bad, but lunch is done. Justin did call me in between there, so I was slightly distracted. So maybe we could have made it faster and try to get into the 15 minutes, but this looks really good. It looks really hot though. I don't even know if I can taste test it for you. That was phenomenal. Okay, we're gonna sit down, chill. Probably chill for quite some time. My cramps are killing me. So we'll find something to put on the TV. I'll do a little bit more brainstorming, see what I can find if there's anything else for Justin's anniversary present, but if not, I think what we have will be enough. I just want it, maybe like one more thing. The live is done, it went well. Just took Cloud for a little walk a do and came home to this baby. So I somehow got gifting from CalPak and I'm not really sure how, and this thing is huge. So let's unbox it. They are so cute. I got the chocolate color and I love, this one especially this is massive which is great. Love, okay, I have like no memory left on this camera, so I'm gonna load all this footage into my computer, probably 
probably get a little bit more work done today and then I think the plan the rest of the night is going to be clean and self-care night. We're going to take a nice little bubble bath, do a face mask, do some skin care. I'm excited. Cleaning has commenced. Bath is filling up. The bubbles are bubbling, luckily. I'm glad we got a bubble bath. I don't know if you can hear me, it's really loud, honestly. But, okay, I got this pack of bath bombs, and they all do like a different goal. We got recharge, focus, breathe, sleep, relax, and shield. I feel like we should go relax. I am so content right now. I will probably be in here forever, except this face mask probably will not last very long. It is, there we go. Are you staying now? Is it better? This is like the perfect temperature too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be in here for a while. Got a few more little work things to do on my phone. We're probably gonna play a podcast, get those done, and then just hang out. The bath was so nice. I got out quite some time ago though. I will say that face mask, my skin actually feels really good. We're in do some skincare. Who is she? We'll see how long this will last. It's probably one night, but we're gonna try it. Although, do I use both of these or should I just use one? If anything, I feel like the retinol is the most important one that I need to be using. My family called. Well, my, I was talking to my mom and sister while I was in the bath and Sean was on the call because I might go see a house on Friday. That's like decent, in a good area, decent house doesn't hit all of my like preferred things but housewise it does have a decent amount and regardless i feel like it's worth it to at least go see it's definitely one of the better ones that have been in the market and actually cost wise is not an arm and a leg which is nice i mean it's still actually outrageous but compared to the houses that are on the market and like half the size it's not terrible so I will hopefully go see that on Friday, but I was talking to them forever and then Justin finally got done with his day, so then I was talking to him forever, ate some dinner, and then I canceled my workout class for tomorrow. I just, what really got to me was it was gonna take an hour and 15 minutes to get there. And that seems insane. An hour and 15 minutes for a workout class is insane. We love Miami. And also like my cramps are hurting, I just feel like my mental capacity isn't at a full 100% this week at all. And I also know that I hate running. I know that I will get a throbbing headache. I will regret running. Like it just doesn't work with my body right now with my broken nose until I get a nose job, which I need to do. I just don't think it's the best for me to do that. I have a pretty long day tomorrow too after I have a long night at the gym and then we have a staff meeting tomorrow night. So I won't, I'll be at the gym until like 11 PM probably. And it just, didn't fit in my schedule best. I am like, I'm like mad at myself that I technically canceled like two brand events this week and two pretty big brand events. And I'm really good about not doing that. Normally, like if I say yes, I've gone to every single one, but it's definitely just been a rough week for me. Guys, these pictures make me so happy. Every time I walk into this room, before Justin left, obviously, but we said it every time we looked in this room, we were like, those pictures look so good and they make me really happy. And I'm so glad these are here now. Okay, good night, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Woke up excited to get up and go to the gym, so it's a good first step. We're feeling better. What is my hair doing? I am a little worried. I think today's just gonna be a 12, 3, 30 day, which I haven't done in a little bit, but I'm a little worried. I'm not gonna have anything good to put on a watch. I feel like I watched YouTube a lot yesterday while I was just sitting down getting work done. I feel like I probably went through all my videos, so I'm not sure what we're gonna watch today, which I feel like could make or break the workout. Because as long as we're entertained, I feel like it goes by fast, but. Got our water. Outfit is cute today. It's from Whiskey. Let's see if I can show you the full fit. Baby blue. Super girly, super cute, but. It also looks promising that it might be sunny today to go lay out. I 
am actually very proud of that. We did all 30 minutes for the first time in a very, very, very long time. And not to toot my own horn, but I crushed it. I did so good. I barely held on at all, like mainly just to drink water or like for a minute here and there, but that was it. I could have kept going and I never say that after that. I was very proud of that. However, coming up, I feel like I never, like the gym's kind of packed right now. And I feel like I never come in at the same time as anyone else ever. Today I did, but it was kind of a good thing. There was three of us that all came in at the same time and the stairs are under construction. I don't know if they're painting or what they're doing. And I never, it's only up one flight of stairs. So I always take the stairs. So we had to take the elevator. We all got in the elevator we went to go up. It brought us up and then it just shook and just froze. I was like, cool. But like, it's a good thing because at least I wasn't in there alone, which is, I would have been any other time. Anyway, we finally got back down to the ground level and opened and we were like, okay, yeah, we're not doing that. So luckily there's like another set of stairs on the outside that we were like, hey, can someone let us in? Can we go that way? Cause I'm not going in the elevator. However, I don't know if I can go down that way. He said it's an emergency exit only. I don't want some alarm to go off if I open that door, but I don't want to ride the elevator by myself. Even though another person came up through the elevator after and said it was fine, but don't love that. The good news, did not get stuck in the elevator. We made it back home, had some coffee, relaxed for a little bit, and now we are outside. But of course the sun just went away. It is extremely windy, so I feel like reading might be a little bit hard, like keeping the page open, but we'll figure it out. Here we go. I've heard like mixed things about this book. Like I heard it was good, but it wasn't like phenomenal, but we'll see. Had a nice little hour by the pool. I think we got a good amount of sun. Oh yeah, look at that. And now it is lunchtime. We had leftover um, ingredients for Pico, but like fresh ingredients. So I just cut all those up, made some Pico to snack on for the next few days. We also have some leftover guac. So I think I'm gonna scoop some Pico in here, make like a chunky guac, snack on that while I cook some lunch making this pasta for lunch today, but I'm hoping I can get pretty, oh, it says to oven roast the bell paper, pepper. I'm not doing that. I will be cooking it in a pan. That's too much work. But I plan to get decently full from the guac and pico because I know it'll go bad soon anyway. So that way I can have the leftover pasta for dinner tonight because I think I said yesterday that we have a staff meeting tonight after LJ practice. So the staff meeting doesn't start till 10. We were told it should be only like a 20 minute short one, but I'm not sure if that'll be the case. So either way, I won't get home until almost 11 by the time I'm eating. So I just want to be able to have something nice and fast to eat. I guess I should mix this up. Whatever. We'll just scoop. That is so much better with some pico in it. But honestly, that's probably all for today because I'm going to make this eat and then edit this video up to this point because I want to be able to get it up probably over the weekend and I really won't have time over the weekend. And anyway, we got some fun stuff tomorrow. We'll do the whole anniversary present thing tomorrow. Get that all figured out. So I will probably not vlog anything else the rest of the day because there's really not going to be anything fun happening. So I will see you in the morning. This is really good. I might eat this entire container right now. Good morning. Happy Friday. I don't know if this will be the last day of the vlog just because... I want to do the anniversary gifts and I don't know if they'll be done today or tomorrow, but today will be the last like main day of the vlog, but we are up. Good morning. We had a late night last night. I didn't get home and I ate pasta for dinner at 11.30 PM. So by the time I got into bed and got to bed, it was pretty late. So we had a slower morning this morning, but we have some stuff to do today. So I'm going to tour another house today that won't be in this vlog because I'm doing like a house hunting part two video that I started months ago and I've only toured one house since then. I think I toured a house in January and I haven't toured a house since just because I've been looking every time my realtor sends me houses, I look what's on the market, I look at all the houses and it has just been not good. But before then, I need to take an everything shower. I need to wash my hair. I actually, I shaved my legs the other night, so I don't need to do that. So I guess it's not an everything shower. We just need to wash our hair and probably like blow dry and style it because I have a competition this weekend. It's just like a local competition. It's just for senior two. Hold on, I really want some iced coffee and I haven't had any yet. Oh, I need to mix that up more. But we just have a little comp in Fort Lauderdale this weekend. So I'm just obviously like driving back and forth. It's not very far. And I obviously need to look decent this weekend. And I think because 
Justin's gifts did not come in yesterday. They're out for delivery today, finally. So those will come today. Everything from Amazon will come today. But by the time I get home from the house, I need a podcast and I have to go to practice at 7. I don't know how much time that leaves me. So I think tomorrow morning, luckily I don't have to be at the competition until 5.30. I think tomorrow morning we'll probably do all the gifts. Hopefully, because that's the only time I have. Because then Justin comes home tomorrow, like, night-ish. But we got some, well, this isn't a team gift. We got a new staff shirt. I am not made in 94. Top Gun was made in 94. But I like the color schemes of this. It's different. These team gifts for Senior Sass are really cute. We got these shorts, which kind of look like the Gilly Hicks fit of shorts, which I love. They don't have anything built in, and they are white. So that is a little... Can, oh, but they're like double lined. Okay, good. But white with the lavender, I think, is so cute. Oh, I think these are supposed to be built in shorts, but are they going to be? T I don't know. Cute, honestly. And then they got a little sports bra for a full practice set. Could this pass as like a tank top for me? It is really cute. Kind of. It is kind of more of a crop top vibe. So cute. This as a set. Love. All right, showered, washed our hair, did the Dyson on it. So I just went straight because I have practice tonight and the gym was disgustingly hot last night. I don't think it'll be that bad tonight, but I just didn't want to style my hair because I knew that it wasn't going to stay. So we just straightened it for now. But this is why I don't do skincare. I mean, granted, I did just pick my face. I shouldn't have probably done that. But I feel like my skin is so sensitive and I don't know if it was the cleanser, the face mask, or the serum, because I use, like, all three different brands, and I probably shouldn't have just, like, gone crazy on my face when I don't use products like that. I should probably, like, ease into it and start small and then, like, incorporate more as I go. But, ugh, it looks crazy. It also, I did my eyebrows the other day, and it, it kind of looks like it's just all around my eyebrow. I don't know if that somehow, like, I literally just pluck them. I don't do anything crazy but it kind of looks like it's all around i think we might wear this i just got it from amazon i think it's like the free people dupe of the little like workout dress this is cute right this is so cute yeah i'm definitely secure with nothing under this i just tighten the straps all the way look at the shoes match literally perfect i'm gonna be wearing this all the time this is so cute and that was the easiest outfit to just like throw together Okay, we made it back home, and I was craving a Chipotle burrito. So, we stopped at Chipotle on the way home. And, uh, oh, honestly, house hunting. Every time I go see a house, I just get more confused and conflicted. And, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm truly not even being that picky. I'm really not. And yet, every single house we go to has, like, a major deal breaker. But, the Amazon packages got here. So while I'm staring at them, I guess let's just open this. We'll, the burrito we'll eat in a minute. The other like main gift part is coming with my mail. Should be here. It says like between three and five. So we'll be able to get it at least before I have to go leave for the gym. Okay, here is, are these all the balloons I think? In here. So this is the brown ribbon. It's like brown velvet. Oh my God, it's even better in person. The color. Okay, here's the wrapping paper, which is gorge so aesthetic it is shimmery which i thought it was matte but whatever i don't really care that much this is gorgeous i did i thought it was more muted than this but this is the exact color that we need for set event i love wow that's gonna be so nice i obviously am not gonna like take it all out right now but i hope feeling wise texture wise material everything and fit this is a big win so hopefully that's good there it is finally time to get the surprise set up. So we have the card, I filled it out inside. I think I'm gonna wrap this too, honestly, just so more things are wrapped because I just love wrapping and I think the aesthetic of it will look really good. He's gonna be so confused when he opens these up and he's like, I don't know what brand this is at all. But we have two little jewelry boxes that I had and I just put his pendants in here. We got, oh, the. Wait, I lied. I didn't put the pendants in there yet. They're right here. They need to go in there. And then we got the balloons. I'm really nervous to blow up the balloons because I get really lightheaded really easily, honestly, when I try to do this. And there's, what, six, seven to do? So, I mean, luckily we have about four hours so we can space them out. So that way, hopefully, I don't literally pass away while I'm doing this. 
Um, I guess let's bring everything over to the coffee table. Well, let's start with wrapping. I think that's a safe bet. Let's wrap everything. That took forever, let me tell you, but they look so good. They are all wrapped. They have all the little bows on them. And I'm very happy. So we'll figure out the placement once the balloons are blown up because I have a feeling the three is gonna take almost the entire coffee table. Then we'll have to work our way around it, but I'm very happy with this. I didn't die, we did it. I'm gonna tape it also just to be safe because he won't be home for quite a few hours and I don't want it to seep out. But I am proud of that. Okay, I ended up doing two of the darker colors because I feel like it ties in like the presents and the ribbon more and that is just massive. So I feel like I don't need another one in this color. I really hope these hold air for the next quite a few hours. Did I do this too early? I'm nervous. That should be fine, right? Like there's no other reason, but I think this is how we're gonna leave it. And I'm really hoping it times up because now his schedule kind of changed. I was originally supposed to pick him up on my way to the competition today. He was gonna come hang out with me and then we were just gonna drive home. But now he's leaving a little bit later. So I'm hoping it times up that I can pick him up on my way home from the competition. Because if not, then he'll probably just get dropped off. And I don't want him to come home before me. I wanna be home when he like walks home and sees everything. So I'm hoping that this works, but I'm so excited. I love, I love gift giving, but I love the like surprise of gift giving. Like that is my favorite thing. And I love wrapping and making everything look cute. So I just had a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get his reaction in the vlog because I like to keep stuff like that that are like genuine, like special moments between us two. I don't wanna like do anything for the camera. And that's something that I love about our relationship is we keep like basically all of that off camera. So nothing is fabricated, nothing is like forced. And then we just have that memory for us too. So very excited for that. I guess I'll probably just end this vlog here because that was the last thing that I'm doing. I'm not gonna vlog the competition this weekend because it's just like a local, I'm literally going there, warming up my team, we're competing and I'm going home. So I hope you enjoy this very long week in my life, like Monday to Saturday. That was a full, almost a full entire week. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like this style of vlog more, if you want like just day in my life. I don't know, let me know what format you guys like. If it's weekend, days, weeks, let me know down below. But I love you guys, I'll see you in the next video.